I don't want to have any posts or any additional posts in here. Well, this has got to change. Good morning everyone do I look tired because I am tired but no rest for the weary I suppose uh, we're gonna go shopping this morning to see if we can find some decent price on some OSB uh, I'm not holding out much hope but anyway we're gonna check and I got the information back on doing my porch roof. Um, it's going to be some really weird stuff that we got to do, but um, don't want to have any posts. So, you know, you do what you got to do to make it like you want to make it. All right, so let's get started. Here we are. Um, after talking to my uh, engineer friends about uh, what we got going on here over this porch, um, you know, I don't want to have any posts or any additional posts in here. So uh, what we're going to do is we want to be able to fill this in without having any posts to support it. And I know it sounds kind of silly, but... Um, you know, that's just the way I like to do things. So what we're going to have to end up doing is we're going to end up doing a little bit of fancy work here. Let me explain to you what's going to happen. All right, we're going to start. First things first, I ran this out to support the overhang out here. Well, this has got to change. This can no longer be a 2x4. We've got to triple that up with a 2x6. And we're going to have to lag it into this post here so that it has uh, can transfer the load into the post. And that 2x6 will then be can run all the way back to the house and tied into the house. That'll give me a cantilever out here. This 2x4, which is basically the overhang, you know, you see you got the whole overhang, the subfascia everywhere on the house. Well, this overhang here is going to be four two by fours, and those will tie in on this end of that triple two by six with that cantilever. Remember that as this pulls down, that's going to want to go up. These lags are going to keep it from going in, and back there is going to keep it from popping up. On this end, these remember now this is going to be four. There's going to be four two by fours right here that's going to tie in to this two by four but that two by four then has to be doubled up on this back side so now you'll have a two two by fours there those will be fastened in on either end those just have to be screwed in they don't have to be lagged or anything but because of the load load transfer onto the tails of these trusses here and here this truss is going to want to do this on each end so we have to beef this up so on either side of this we're going to have to sandwich on these trusses with two by sixes and run it up to the peak so that this part doesn't uh, sag and while that's going to be a lot <laughs> of, of extra lumber and here I am complaining about the cost of lumber. Uh, but I want to make it look nice. I, I, it's uh, a thing I, I like to do things and make it look nice. So then we're going to have to come back and then we'll run our, our 2x4 rafters. We'll run them on top of the wall there, back. And we'll tie them in to our... Uh, two by fours out here and that'll give us our shed roof over our front porch and it'll look a whole lot better 
because go back up here essentially that's what you'll see and there'll be no posts in it and you won't be able to see a beam and people will look at it and wonder how in the world is that thing staying up but that's how I roll that's the kind of things I do I want to make it look nice I want to make it look um, well I want to make it safe but I want to make sure that it uh, you know it looks nice I, I I don't want to obstruct the view. Not that there's much of a view out here, but um, you know, uh, if if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. So let's do it right. And this gable, I think this is going to really set the house off here. So anyway, now that I've dropped my trailer, I've got to go pick up my lumber, and we'll get started. I've got to finish the overhangs on this end of the house and put some blocking in um i'm not going to be able to do my valley uh, framing until i get my some of my decking on but uh, we're going to get started on that and i don't know how far we'll get but however far we get is how far we get and stay tuned All right, well, uh, here we have our beam. It's tied into our post. Those tie back, I'll have to go back in and fasten that. Tie it in back there. We got our four member two by out here. Comes over, ties into our double overhang, which then ties into our rafter tails, our truss tails, rather. Then we doubled up this with a two by six to take care of the cantilever load 
Now, I know some people are going to look at this and say, oh my goodness, that's not going to work. But I assure you it will. We've got the total load on here is about a thousand pounds once you get the metal and live load, dead load, everything. You're going to come over here, you're going to put about 500 pounds on this side and about 500 pounds on this side. Then this connection will divide up. You'll have 250 pounds on each one of these rafter tails. Everything is engineered, it will work fine. The, uh, <clears throat> if you think about, you know, I weigh about, well, not quite 250, but pretty close. And, uh, the main criteria is controlling this was deflection. We didn't have to worry about deflection. This could have been a much smaller beam. But now what will happen is this will be a flat ceiling across there. And uh, it will look really sharp I think. gonna call it a night it's after five o'clock 
but we did manage to get some OSB up on the roof we got this porch framed out still gonna have to come in and frame up the ceiling in it but it's gonna look like it's a floating ceiling it's gonna look really sharp when it's done uh, well, we got the rest of the OSB to put on uh, still got to get about 30 more sheets on top of that do I look tired I was tired when I got up this morning I was tired when I was working today and now it's 530 been going all day it's hot I'm tired I'm gonna go take no I'm not gonna go take I was gonna go say I was gonna take a nap but I can't take a nap because I have things to do tonight got to download the video footage that you don't really care but anyway got to do that um, I've got to go play nice with my bowling partners because among everything else I do I am an avid bowler on Friday nights and it's Friday night so anyway thanks for watching this far and stay tuned because next time we'll be putting some more OSB on the roof and hopefully getting it dried in so we can get some metal on the roof. And quite frankly, i am been a long time getting here and I'm ready to get on something different. Uh, it starts wearing on you after a while. You just want to step back and take a breather. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you know somebody who's interested in this kind of stuff, hit that share button and tell your friends about it. Um, you know, anyway. Uh, bouncy road. Until next time, sayonara.